Okay, so this one's going to be a little different. Uh, I just did a video. I'm in Houston, Texas. I'm going to take my camera and show you where I am. This is a friend of mine's backyard. They've been living here for a lot of years. That's one of the bayous that runs through Houston. Yesterday when I was doing my exercises, in the morning I do what's called the five Tibetan rites. You can find them online. And yoga. And I laid down to do one of the exercises in the five Tibetan rites. And I went right out into present time consciousness. I went out into, holy cow, is this ever cool or what? And a lot of it was because of this, this view that you don't see every day. Uh, with the five Tibetan rites, you lay on your back, and I usually do it in a small room in our house in Switzerland. But this absolutely fascinates me. These are huge pine trees. Uh, a few years ago, uh, mm, maybe more like 15, I said to my wife, we can live anywhere. And she said, yeah. I said, where do you want to live? She said, Houston. I said, honey, we can live anywhere. <laughs> and she insisted on Houston. She absolutely loves it here. And one of the things is these huge pine trees, which I guess millions of them were lost last year in a drought, which is unusual for Houston. And but, but the reason I want to do this, I'm, I'm going to see if I can do this. If I can, I'm going to see if I can bring you, the viewer, to present time consciousness, to right here, right now, which is going to be, as I said before, paradoxically, a different present time consciousness, but it will be the same state. It will still be present time consciousness for you as it is for me right now. But it will be completely different because you're viewing it someplace else. You're not here and you're not sweating in the Houston humidity. But also, this is kind of dedicated to Sudra. Uh, she did my last class. Uh, the last I heard, she said she uh, created no value. And I'm laying here and I'm thinking, hang on a second. The value you're going to create is going to be like a statistoscope in the beginning. Now, for those of you who do or do not know what a statistoscope is... Uh, what is his name? Steve Wright was a comedian. He said, I saw a subliminal advertising executive just for a second. And the uh, statistoscope is that machine which puts those little frames in uh, that you see, and it's so subliminal that, that you get up and get a Coke, but you don't even know that you've seen the Coke. And uh, Sudra insisted when I asked her the question, uh, what do you want? Uh, peace, joy, and happiness, I think is what she kept asking for. There were three things and they were incongruous. It doesn't mean that she wanted to do it. it they, she wasn't experiencing them. She was telling me the truth. And after the class, she said, I don't notice any difference. Well, the differences after the class, many times, for people, are like a statistical. They're so fleeting and so quick that if you don't stop your own world and look at them, you are going to miss them. And they'll look and say, okay, I'm wait just a minute ago, just a second ago, I experienced what I'd asked for. And if you don't then go and appreciate those moments, they're going to become more and more fleeting and less and less uh, available. But if you stop and say, wait a minute, wait a minute, a few minutes ago, that happened, and I was completely out in awareness. I was completely in present time consciousness. What a great state. What an amazing state. And if you keep taking yourself to those states of awareness and noticing them, they'll become more frequent, more fluid, and you'll experience more of what you want. Have a fun day. www.micpeakperformance.com Let me get a picture of the sun there so I can blind you a little bit. There we go. Have fun.